My name is uh, Jesus Antonio Lopez Carvalho. I am a PhD researcher. Uh, I'm an oceanographer. I am working right now in a postdoctoral fellowship in Ensenada, Baja California, Mexico. I was doing my master uh, degree with Dr. Mason, who is the uh, head lab of the team. And uh, I wanted to work with functional genomics, and I wanted to uh, study with him. But in that time, he started exploring homeopathic medicines in uh, aquatic organisms. So uh, he proposed me to work with homeopathy. And I wasn't pretty sure about working with homeopathy. Uh, and one day I just was thinking about if it was a good idea working with homeopathy. And one of my friends that were working uh, with probiotics in aquaculture, uh, Dr. Mason asked him to try some homeopathic medicines uh, in his experiment. So he used the probiotics, the medicines, uh, homeopathic medicines, and uh, he noticed a, a higher survival of the organisms when they challenged the organisms against a pathogen when they were using the homeopathic medicines. So that take my attention, and that's why I decided to, to explore more about what they were doing in the biological system of marine organisms. We have many challenges, but one of them is uh, the infection disease, which are the major limitation in aquaculture production. So we want to understand how the pathogens uh, interact with the host. Uh, we study shrimps, uh, mussels, oysters, and uh, understanding how these interactions uh, take place, we can formulate prophylactic treatments. And between those options, we have, uh, or we have chosen the homeopathic medicine. We have very interesting results that can be replicated in fish, shrimp, and oysters and mussels. What we are trying to do is to increase the strength of the organism so they don't get sick and they can survive. Homeopathic medicines, uh, trying to recover the homeostasis of the organism and trying to strain the immune system against disease. One of the major things that surprises us in our study is the way these uh, homeopathic medicines are working over the biological system. It also makes some sense because uh, we are looking that they are increasing the proliferation of receptors that are being activated somehow with interaction with these homeopathic medicines. And this increase or increasing receptors uh, makes sense because they are needed to the transduction of the signal to the cell. So they can react to, to a stimulus and we have a response or a biological response that we quantify with other techniques.